All right, so I might as well define the word Freemason using, you know, a cross, using the Armageddon line, second row, in the middle, column, the fifth, and for two, five, in a circle, for two, six, for G, O, D, or seven, fifteen, D, 26. Anyways, you gotta start reading it backwards, and you gotta look at the one by five. Okay, so you gotta read it backwards, and let's not, let's just count nothing as nothing. Let's just go six. There's your F. Okay? Now, where's your R? Six letter is an F. Where's your R? Your R is six, five, four, one, one, one. There's your R. Okay? Where's your EE? Well, what happens when you make your R? You make your R, it goes here. It makes the infinite and the nothing that goes all the way around to here. It contains it in a doubly circled bubble. Okay, so we got F, R, E, E. Five and a five, different kind of five. There's free. Okay, now where's Mason? Now that's easy. The zero, five, and seven is a 13 for the 13th letter of the alphabet, which is M. And X is just number 10 in Roman numerals, which is a circled one, which is an A. Your S is going to be, again, the 24th letter, which is a 6, and the 13th letter is 6, and a 13 is 19 for S. Now your O is going to be the 7 plus the 6 is a 13. 13 plus the leading 2 is 15 for your O. Now your N is going to be a 7 plus 2 plus 6, which is going to be, that's your 9, and that's your 6 for a 15, which is a circled... 14 for N. Free Mason. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I like, like, I really want to hear what you got to say about that. Freemasons. Isn't this what you study? Cellular math? And you'd be all quiet about it? Shh. The microphone's over here. Shh. There you go. Yeah, I think I'm, yeah, atone, attuned. I can like, not atoned, I don't know. Um, yeah, the last Dramatria list was nuts. Especially the seventh one. And the third one or something. Yeah, those were great.